In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a data comparison video like this, from an Excel file using Blender. For example, this animation tells us about the top 10 best places to live in the world. Many of our viewers have requested us for the script for this type of animations, so here you go. You have to first prepare your data in an Excel file, and it must have a header row like this. This rank column should be a numeric column, and this third column should contain the primary data. It should be numeric as well, and arranged in an increasing order. The rest of the columns are used for display purpose, and then, in this last column, you should keep the location or the file path of all your pictures. Now open Blender, and delete this default cube. To run our script, we have to open a text editor from here. Then create a new text file, and here we can paste our first script. This script is given below in the video description. It will install two modules that will enable Blender to link with an Excel file, and we can run this script from here. It will take some amount of time to run, but if you are getting an error while running this script, you can also use the CSV version of our script, which is easier to handle. In the Excel, go to the File menu, and then Save As. A pop-up will come, and here we have to select the comma-delimited CSV option and save the file. If we use that CSV file here, we don't need to run this script, instead we can directly go to our second script, which is also given below. Based on your database, you may need to change few things here. First you should mention the location of the Excel file or the CSV file in this line. Then you need to change these column numbers as per your Excel file, and you can change this value to make the animation slower or faster. And like before, run the script from here and wait for it to complete. You'll see that many such objects are created by our script, grouped into separate collections. Let's go back to the 3D viewport, then turn on the rendered view mode from here, and also switch over to the camera view. If we now run the animation, we'll see that everything is set up nicely by the script, and the data columns will appear one after another as expected. Even the camera movement is automatically done, you don't need to do anything. You can just add some materials as you like, and add some background to the scene. You might have noticed that some objects like this are visible even before they should be visible. But no worries, this script is very smart, it has taken care of this problem through these keyframes in the render visibility, so they won't be visible in the render output until they are supposed to appear. So that's all for today, and if you are a member of this channel, you have access to this entire package, which means you can also copy these materials and the background if you need. But the basic script that creates this animation is freely available for all. And the other important thing is to add a suitable sound when the plates drop on each other, because that background sound really makes it look more realistic. The more perfectly you sync your sound with the animation, the better. So I hope you liked this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.